So here you go. I have downloaded IntelliJ IDEA application setup file, right? Now, what is the next step? Now I will dub double click on this setup file. Just double click on this. So this is the exe file which I have downloaded from jetbrains.com for IntelliJ IDEA IDE. As, as you can see on the screen, when I double click on this setup file, uh, it is trying to validate something and now we got IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition Setup. Welcome to IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition Setup. So what you have to do now is you just need to click on this next button. There you go. I have clicked and uh, it will ask you choose install location. Now this is all about installing this setup. So now we have downloaded the IntelliJ IDEA from its official site. Now we are installing this setup on our local machine or in your laptop, right? So install location, let it be the default location, whatever it has uh, automatically detected. Just You just need to click on this next button. So I will click on next. And by clicking on next, it will start the installation. And here you could see uh, it, it has asked for some configuration. As you can see here, configure your IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition installation. And just a reminder, this Community Edition is the open source free, uh, free uh, open source software provided by JetBrains. So this is the open source IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. Now, uh, it has it is asking whether you want to create a desktop shortcut, right? or what you want to create so let's create desktop shortcut it's always good and since i have 64 bit machine uh, like my operating system is 64 bit so i have selected this 64 bit option you just need to click on next and here you go and select the start menu folder in which you would like to create the program shortcut so in windows start menu so I, I'm fine with just JetBrains options. So now you have to click on this install. So this is all about the installation of uh, IntelliJ IDEA. You just need to click on this install button right here. I will click on install. Now installing, as you can see the installing message. So this installation of IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition setup is going on. So after the installation, you will at the end you will see this message completing IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition setup, and here you will find this finish option. Uh, finish option. You just need to click on this finish, and with this, this uh, IntelliJ installation is successfully completed. And uh, just refresh, and if you again double click on this it should open up so once the installation is done so in the start folder you could see if you click on all programs so here you will fill here you will find one uh, jet brains right and here in the jet brains you will see this intellij idea community edition and uh, if you click on this IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition, so you will see this option. And just click on continue. Let me show you again. So after the installation in the start folder in the start menu of Windows system, you will see this JetBrains. So you just need to right click on it and click on open. so as you could see a window is opened up customize intellij and uh, maybe it is asking you what kind of theme you want to set up so this is darkula theme you will where you will see this black background and another option is the light light one this where you will see white background so it's up to your choice 
which option which ui theme you want to uh, use so many people prefer this darkula theme which is dark and many people prefer this light color so i'll go with this light and just click on this next it will ask uh, so intellij provide some default plugins for example this build tools git test ng test tools and uh, these plugins intellij provides by default right and uh, just click on next feature plugins these are feature plugins it's up to you whether you want to install them or not so i'll i'll not use them so i will not install them for now and at the end you will see start using intellij idea at the bottom i'll click on this start using intellij idea as you could see it has launched intellij idea community 2019.1 so with this like uh, the installation is done successfully for this IDE integrated development environment so this IntelliJ idea is similar to Eclipse ID which you might have used earlier now people are using IntelliJ idea quite frequently so I thought why not include this IntelliJ idea in our project so it will open up IntelliJ idea I'll show you it is loading so eventually you will get this window welcome to intellij idea and here intellij idea provides you like you can create a new project you can import existing projects you can open any project and you can check out the project from version control right and here in the configure you could do some configuration uh, like uh, project settings file settings in the configure window you could see you will find bunch of options too configure intellij idea all right so that's all about installation of intellij idea so what we have done let me summarize quickly we have downloaded the setup file from the official site of eclipse sorry intellij which is jetbrains.com from its official site we have downloaded the setup file and we saved that setup file in one of the location in your computer and we double click on the setup file then we got some wizard and we just click on next next options and at the end installation is done successfully and in the start menu or on the desktop you will see intellij option and if you double click on or if you go to start menu and open intellij you will see this window right and if you click on create new project i have just clicked on this will open up another window which will allow you to create a new project so that's pretty much for it tells idea installation thank you